And the driving force behind the implementation of the war and drug legislation, both in US and in Europe, was not the pharmaceutical industry. They were not the one who were pushing for getting a legislation in place to make it profitable for them to develop new drugs for rare diseases. No, it was the patient organizations. And it was in the US in the early 80s, where there were several rare disease patient organizations who ha highlighted the lack of focus from the industry in developing treatment for these rare diseases. And they used different public relationships, the journalists, and there were some television shows around the problem for, these, for the patients with rare diseases and no drugs available. So in 83, the, the Orphan Drug Act became law. It was signed by President Ronald Reagan. And the objective was to encourage and to stimulate the industry to overcome the different hurdles in developing drugs for rare diseases. And the encouragement was through economic incentives and special assistance during the FDA drug approval process. <coughs> so the Orphan Drug Act was put into place in 83. And it was orphan drugs, they were pharmaceutical or biological products, but also today medical devices and dietary or diet products. And the incentives for the industry in the US are that they will receive 50% tax credits during their clinical research. And they will also have some technical assistance and fast act procedure and reduced fees from the FDA. And once approved, they will have seven years market exclusivity.